Hi folks, Slick Slicers here. Um, I am just going to show you something a little bit different. Now, now this is another Taylor's Eyewitness knife. So, yeah, I hope you're not completely bored with Taylor's Eyewitness. I showed you this a little while ago. Let's push that out of me. I showed you this a little while ago, which was a twin blade um, pen knife. Now, um, the letter on this was unsigned, but I've spoken to Lee White and I'm quite sure that he made this but he made it at least two possibly three years ago and made a few of these so it's not a particularly common one there's a horn one available on the Bakewell cookshop um, at the moment which uh, um, I said before I hope somebody buys before I have to because I will have to if, if it sits there long enough because I really like these little knives they're really almost jewel like but they now do a double bolstered pen knife. It's very, it's very slightly longer. It's, um, you know, this one was three, three and an eighth, maybe, inches. Whereas this one is coming in at more like three and five eighths so over the half anyway um so it's it's a it's a sort of different sort of a knife now i they just call it a, a pocket a pen knife um twin blade bolstered pen knife but it's slightly different in a couple of ways instead of we well i'll go to the second i go to the secondary blade first Anyway, I'll break with tradition. We have a little pen blade as a secretary blade, which has on it, it's got a tang mark, which is kind of, it was upside down, is eyewitness, Sheffield, England. Uh, nothing, nothing on the, the reverse side. But the main blade, rather than being a, a slightly larger pen as you might normally expect on a on a pen knife, is a Warncliffe. Just to put that down. So it's a it's a nice pointy. So it's almost like um like a Whittler only with one secondary blade rather than two and a single spring so you know with a whittler you'd expect there to be a split back spring so that you both springs working on the um one cliff blade and two little pen knives on two little pen blades or um, a pen and a coping blade or something on the other end whereas this one is just a pen and a one cliff so that just made me think sort of like a half whittler um, I don't know if that's really a thing or if I'm just sort of making that up, but who knows. And again, the sort of ha upside down uh, tang stamp. I mean, the fact they're both that way up suggests that it's meant to be that way and it's not really, it's not upside down. But you've got the all-seeing eye witness, Sheffield, England on there. Um, lovely shiny fingerprint magnet blades come of course nice and sharp now we have nickel sil silver bolsters both ends um, one is sort of traditional round I mean this end of it says traditional pen knife and this end of it um, you know it's, it's just a bit different you've got that sort of uh, asymmetric bolster um, which gives you a nice you can get up close if you're doing some fine work um, it's a serpentine design so you can get a good grip on it if you're you know cutting back like that you, you against your thumb um, it's, a, it's a lovely little knife we've got uh, um, ram's horn covers and again I got a choice of these um, but it was difficult. I couldn't make up my mind which one I liked best. They both got that lovely amber 
buttery translucent. There's that term again. But it, they are very translucent, um, semi-clear. You know, you can you can really see the depth in them, and there's a little bit of marking in them. So I would have been happy with either one. And in some ways, it was I just kind of, um, you know, eeny meeny miny, mo, and picked one. Well, I'd say eeny meeny miny mo anymore, even though they changed it to catch a tigger by the toe. But even so. Apparently it's still uh, get you into trouble in the UK nowadays. So um, anyway, I picked one semi-randomly. Um, we've got the lovely uh, file working on the back, which um, oops, I'm trying to cut myself here, which goes up into both both of the blades this is very nice you've got your nice brass um, liners what we don't have with this one but I really really liked with the other one is that file working on the liners I imagine it's quite uh, time-consuming I mean assuming it's not cut with a press um, in which case wouldn't be very time consuming at all but if that's actually hand filed um that would take a long time and trying to get it all as beautifully neat as that might take a um a, a couple of attempts as well so i don't know i don't know if that's the reason why it's not there anymore but um if it's one thing that um arthur wright seemed to have continued to manage it's um that they've kept that on a lot of their knives and i you know, I'm quite pleased to see that. Um, but I still like this knife. It's still a really nice little pocket knife. A um, little on the expensive side. I don't know if just because it's got two blades, should that necessarily make it significantly more expensive? I don't know. It does anyway. Um, but it's a new, a newer pattern of two bolstered um pocket knife compared to the oh, slightly older pattern um, of uh, with no bolsters and um, which do I like better do you know I'm not sure but I think I'd probably go for this one yeah the older one with two pen blades a small and a, a smaller and a larger um, pen blade um, partly it's because I like I like all that file work around there it's just a, there's something jewel-like about that particularly on the back actually I don't know it just wins me over whereas you know that's very nice that's very nice certainly I'm not complaining about it like it a lot I just like that better I think it's all it is so anyway there we are enough of this nonsense if you do like this nonsense please uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe and um, you'll see some more of this there's a couple more um, barlows and another lamb's foot to show i've got some arthur wright knives coming up and some really quite spectacular michael may knives michael as some of you may know uh, used to work for Taylor's Eyewitness. If you see some of Grace Horn's videos, you'll recognise his um, uh, red beard um, making. I think it's the one of no, it's the one of making a Barlow knife. I think um, there's one of making a Stockman in um, uh, Mother of Pearl, but I think that's uh, Richard White Lee's brother. Um, but the, I think the one making a barlow is uh, Michael May. Anyway, I've got a couple of his knives coming up, three of his knives coming up, um, two of which really are quite spectacular. One's very nice, nothing wrong with it, but two are pretty special. So, um, as I say, subscribe, ring the bell. You'll see them when they come along. Bye.